Hey guys, I'm Haley Bright from CoinOp TV, and I'm here with Thomas Wilson, Creative Director of Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. So, as of today, you guys have announced three out of the four universes so far. Can you give me a breakdown of these three universes? Absolutely. So we got Amazing Spider-Man, uh, which is sort of the classic uh, uh, hero that everybody has come to love. Uh, the treatment, because each of the universes have a different art style. So for Amazing Spider-Man, we have sort of a pen and ink treatment, sort of like paying tribute to the old comic book genre. So flatter texture treatment, you know, sort of a little bit of nostalgia uh, there. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man is the typical character that everybody has come to love. We have uh, it's web-based combat. He can make a lot of shapes with his webs, like giant hammers, uh, spike balls, you know, giant fists. It's really a very uh, sort of like um, a spectacular looking combat system. Then we have Spider-Man Noir, uh, where we slow down the pace. It's definitely more, uh, it revolves around stealth. You really need to use the shadows to your advantage. Crawl up on walls, you know, perch up eye, find locations where you can hide before performing a takedown on each of the enemies. If you go up front, you know, you're probably going to get killed. So it's really about stealth, really taking uh, everyone one by one in your uh, in your webs and then we've just announced spider-man 2099 spider-man from the future how cool is that uh so um yeah so it's taking place in the city uh it's taking place in new york in the future uh, very you know a, a lot of verticality uh and what's specific to 2099 and he's got web voice that allows him to perform like high di high diving action sequences that we've never seen before in a spider-man game so really diving base jumping basically uh to chase after the villains that you'll find in the game in previous Spider-Man games, you know, they've incorporated different voiceover actors from different Spider-Man entities, kind of hyped up all the fan yep. appreciation. What are you guys doing in this game to hype up your fan appreciation? We're actually doing a lot. Uh, what I can say is we've announced two voice actors for, for the game so far. So we have uh, Christopher Daniel Barnes, who used to be uh, the voice actor for Spider-Man uh, for the animated series in the 1990s. Uh, and then we've just, and we've just announced Dan uh, Gilvazon, who used to be the, uh, you know, the initial uh, voice actor for the amazing, uh, for the TV series uh, way back. Um, now, what I can say is there are two others, like all of the voice actors we have for the game have at one point in their lives, uh, voice Spider-Man. So it's going to be super cool. And we have a great cast of voice actors for all the other characters in the game, including the villains. And I know that you guys haven't unveiled the Spider-Man senses yet, but can you give me a little bit of a hint of what we might be seeing with that? Sure. Uh, so, yeah, you, you wouldn't be Spider-Man if you didn't have a spider yeah, sense, right? right? <laughs> so uh, what we do is, like, the spider sense in our game has the uh, unique features of being able to see enemies through walls and also see their, what we call their health aura. So that way you can see if the enemy is close to, to, you know, to sort of, like, losing consciousness. Not dying. We can't really, you know, kill anybody. But, um, you know, losing consciousness so we have their aura that allows uh, the character to see that the player to see uh, how close they are to, to losing consciousness uh, you can see interactive objects also as well being highlighted um, and so it's a it's a vision mode like for amazing that's what's going to happen for noir what's interesting is activating your spider sense will allows you will allow you to better see in the dark so that's kind of cool it's almost like wearing night vision goggles if you will um, and 2099 has something unique it's what we call, and it's from the comics, it's got what we call the accelerated vision. And so what it does, basically from a gameplay standpoint, is that it allows uh, the, the player to slow down everything around him uh, while maintaining his own speed. So that's a way of like having an advantage over combat and the characters that you know would be faster than you. All right, guys, I'm Haley Bright from CoinOp TV, and that wraps it up for Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. We look forward to seeing more.